How you guys feeling today? Great. Great. <laughs> kind of see we've got this water bed and a look to it, right? So there's definitely water underneath this liner. We're going to start putting some big rocks in, eh, Juan? Yeah. Yep, big rocks. Oh, one thing I want to show you also is fish caves. Fish caves, fish caves, fish caves, folks. You can tell it's cold. The water is frozen in the pond. Great. Should be a good day. Okay, start of day three, folks. You can see we've got a little bit of the pond rock behind me. That's kind of where we left off uh, at the end of yesterday. You can see there is some water in there, right there where there's the water. The reason we did that is because, if you remember earlier in the video, we had all this groundwater underneath. I want to show you what happens when water underneath the liner isn't allowed to get out through that uh, under drain system, which daylights back up over there. So since there's not enough water in here, water volume, to push that water out through that pipe, discharge it out through. If you look at it over here, there's water in that pipe, but kind of see we've got this water bed and a look to it, right? So there's definitely water underneath this liner, been displaced by the water inside the pond here. Pipe and trench is completely full. Any water that otherwise would have settled in the bottom area has been displaced because the water inside the pond has occupied this space, pushing the water level up underneath here, which is exactly what we thought was gonna happen, and it still has not rained. To alleviate that, what we would have to do, if we wanted to get rid of the water underneath here, we would have to empty this. By doing that, we would cause a huge bubble underneath the liner where we've already done this rock. I'm not worried about the water underneath here because by the time we end up rocking all this stuff in, it's not too terribly bad. We'll end up putting more water in the pond as we're going and eventually that white pipe back over there will discharge the water underneath the liner out. We got Juan over here today. We got Connor as well hustling. So we've got some fabric cut. We're gonna start putting some big rocks in, eh Juan? Yep, big rocks. Continue this journey with us. We're gonna continue to rock this whole back area in over here. Get as much done as we can on this side of the pond and work our way this way and hopefully get to the bog area and leave that for tomorrow. So I'm hoping we can get the pond rock so that we can have guys fill in behind us. Ooh, that lighting is perfect for my face. I just wanted to step back and kind of show you the progress we made. Made incredible progress with only three guys. The Hellcat couldn't make it out today. His son Matthew is sick. So Matthew, I hope you get better out there, buddy. And uh, Brian, make him some chicken noodle soup, will you? Maybe a couple candy bars. All kidding aside, if you remember where we stopped um, yesterday was we had this bottom section filled and I think that rock was there and then maybe that one over there. We ended up putting this flat piece in that goes straight down to about a uh, two foot depth, which is about the top of that rock there. So it's a nice sheer drop off. We're gonna end up carving one back in place over there, like a flat one that you can kind of let your feet dangle off of. And then the same thing with that, it's got a nice flat top that you can sit and let your legs hang. We ended up coming off of this rock, which was here. So we worked our way back this way. So you can see that we rocked the entire two foot deep section of the pond in. A lot of granite, a couple big chunks of moss rock. We ended up getting kind of our first edge rock over by where the bog is sitting. That's gonna really define that edge really nicely. Oh, one thing I wanna show you also is fish caves. Fish caves, fish caves, fish caves, folks. So down here, we took a flat piece of moss rock and ended up carving it in. So that is probably a good four square feet of space underneath there. And there's probably about a 12, 14 inch height from there to the top of the gravel. So fish will be able to congregate in there, get away from predatory birds or what have you. We ended up using the big gravel down on the two foot deep shelf. And then we've got smaller gravel on that shelf down in there that has water in it. As you saw this morning, we had kind of that waterbed look. That has been alleviated. However, it's pushed the water that was underneath this section of liner up underneath that shelf. So, so as we're setting, we're making sure that we don't have any pinch points, nothing's point loaded, making sure we suck up any excess liner and that it's not taut when we're setting the, the rocks on top. As we're going, uh, we don't wanna put any holes in there. So we're having to use gravel to help disperse the weight a little bit, but we've got a big chunk in here. Water level is right about there on that rock. So this top section right there, We'll be out of water and water level on this rock is probably right about there. 
just to give you guys all a frame of reference. This rock, we were, we were trying to get a rock out of water that was kind of in front of the snorkel a little bit and in front of this rock over here. We're gonna bring dirt in up high and create like a little berm over here or on this peninsula. This rock right here, water level is right about there. We wanted to get a couple kind of accent rocks where water goes all the way around them where they're kind of sticking up out of water out in the middle of the pond. We got a heck of a lot of, we got a heck of, a lot of work ahead of us. Um, but we are in great shape. We're just gonna keep plugging away. Hopefully mother nature cooperates and doesn't get too cold. Looks like maybe next week it's supposed to start dipping down into the low twenties. So might not be so much more sweatshirt weather, but uh, parka weather, mm -hmm. we'll see. We've got the whole A team out here today. It is, you see my breath? 14 degrees out today. That's not gonna stop us. We've got the entire team here today. We've got the guys in here cleaning up the hole for the wetland filter. We're gonna get that in while we can. We've got multiple operators, so we're gonna have a bunch of things going at once. We're gonna have this getting finished, start putting in some of these key big boulders around the perimeter of the pond. As you guys saw earlier in the video, we've got the entire bottom rock, so we're just gonna start focusing on plucking in big chunks and then we'll fill in with granite which is the round rock in and around that stuff so we might get this almost this entire pond rock today which would be incredible so this is where we had some of the groundwater as well we've had a pump in there for the last 72 hours just kind of drain stuff so it's a little sloppy but we're hoping that we can stay on top of it today we're going to throw a bedding layer of sand down after we get our trench for our centipede get the fabric liner and more fabric in then get these aqua blocks snorkel centipede then our cobbles and then gravel and then we'll start rocking this as well this should look like an extension of the pond there will be no waterfall coming out of it or anything flat spot right here will be cut down to about uh six eight inches is below water level so little fish can swim back into the bog filter. How you guys feeling today? Great. Great. <laughs> We made really, really, really great progress yesterday. We got the pond basically 90% rocked. We got the bog almost completed as well. We've got lights in. I think we're at the start of day, day four. We're missing a couple guys today, but that's okay. We're gonna keep trudging along. It's also about 12 degrees. In case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a stocking cap and gloves. I don't know, we picked up this guy outside of an oil change shop today. <laughs> changing oil, changing lives. That's what that's what we do. It is. Matt Connor kind of finishing up, cleaning up uh, this shelf. This is where our stream is going to be. The waterfalls is gonna come in down through here. Yeah, we're gonna do an overlap for our streamliner. Our steppers are gonna come through here, which is gonna be awesome. We've got a big mountain of gravel there. So we dumped a whole sack of gravel because we needed that uh, really small, fine gravel to go on top. You guys have seen in other videos how we have the different size layers of substrates in the wetland filter. So you've got the cobbles top of the aqua blocks, but at the bottom of the wetland filter, then you've got your medium sized gravel. And then you, at the very top, you get that smaller stuff. Provide a great environment for that beneficial bacteria to colonize on and help clean the water as it upflows through there. You can end up shoveling that and using it elsewhere as well. Bog filter is supposed to look like an extension of the pond. We'll have probably about three inches of water. Water level in here is right about there. We should get a nice current running through there. We've got a pond power head, which is right there. And that's going to help push some of that water as it comes through and out of that bog. We've got some lights going on in here. We've got another one down there in the fish cave. So waterfalls entering the pond from the stream is gonna come in here. Got some large destination rocks, nice flat rocks, fish feeding areas. You can see we've got our skimmer in back over there. We're gonna probably disguise it a little bit differently. Snorkel, and as you can see, it's cold. That's water, actually that's ice. <laughs> you can tell it's cold. The water is frozen in the pond. Great. Should be a good day. So we are back at it after a significant delay. We've been off the job for about a week now because of uh, freezing temps. We are going to cut out the pooling area which is where I'm standing right now for the, the waterfall coming out of the biofalls right there to dump into. Real close to the patio, so we've got about another 
10, 12 feet of stream area that we have to finish. We're going to start rocking it with some granite around a lot of those bigger rocks, the key boulders and the steppers that we placed where we left off last in the video. So that's where we're gonna start there, get this dug fabric liner in, start rocking this upper pooling area. Then we'll get our waterfalls built and then we will hopefully finish up that section. So we should have a lot of this stuff done today. It's gonna be pretty sloppy out here because everything is now thawed, but just a little bump in the road. Wouldn't be a normal day without any kind of challenges out here. What's going on everybody? As you can tell, we are unfortunately not at our job. We are at our shop in Aqualand. Basically, we're not gonna be able to finish that job this year. And we ran into a little bit of a snafu. It's kind of the nature of the construction business, right? Basically what happened is that in the town where we are putting this project in, we are required to have a contractor's license for the town. So legally, we are contractors but don't have a contracting license for that town. We are already in the process of getting that all resolved. From here, it's a waiting game now. We will be back there in the spring as long as everything goes well, which it should, and we will be getting that project finished up for you guys. That's all for this video, and if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, stay up to date on all our newest videos, and if you subscribe, you'll definitely be one of the first to know about this project when the final video comes out. So guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch up with you later. Bye.